Um, this morning we've got Stephen, part of our iPad project, and I'll hand over to you, Stephen. Thank you, Patrick. Um, I've been fortunate to be part of an iPad project this year at university. I thoroughly enjoyed being part of this project. This project has been immensely helpful for my studies. Um, firstly, I'd just like to say the iPad has been useful and it's such a portable device. I can literally take it anywhere. It saves me carrying my laptop day to day onto campus. Um, so it's nice, nicely transportable, very easy, especially if I take a keyboard as well. I can have my own little mini laptop and I can, it's very easy to work from. So in that respect, it's due to its trans how easy it is to be transport from place to place, it's been a massive plus in that respect. Um, other ways the iPad has been useful, m number one has mainly been looking at documents. Documents, I find hours and hours usually, I have to go to the library, I have to print off all the documents, spending fortune, spending my student loan on the printing, printing ink. Unfortunately, fortunately because of the iPad, I've saved a lot of money on printing ink, so I can now easily email myself my reading for the week for all my seminars and easily have my iPad up with my documents, which I can scan through on one screen, reading them, while making notes on my laptop, so I look um, quite fancy with my two screens, which is always helpful, so that's been a massive plus reading uh, documents from the iPad. Another way that this, the iPad has really helped me is an app called AudioNote. AudioNote is brilliant for seminars, for lectures, because you can make notes from the app, and it immediately says when that note has been taken, so along the margin of the app is an exact time you've made those notes. So however many minutes into the seminar, so 20 minutes. So when it comes to a revision time now, for me, I can easily go back to my seminars. I can find the note that I made in class, which I couldn't remember, go easily back to the, not only the notes, but the recording, stick my headphones in, type up that note, and uh, put it where relevant, either in an essay, or whether in an essay or my revision notes. So that app has been invaluable. Um, another way, uh, another app that's been particularly useful for me, interestingly, is the camera on the, uh, on the iPad. The camera on the iPad I find a very good quality. It's been very useful, particularly for my dissertation this year. Uh, for my dissertation, I've been looking at 19th century British concert records, which try reading 19th century handwriting is a task in itself. It's very difficult, um, and it, it requires looking very closely at text and trying to understand the joined up writing. Uh, fortunately, with the iPad, I've been able to use it to take a lot of pictures of these documents and then use the zoom in feature on the iPad. Uh, to really understand the primary sources, so it's been invaluable in that respect and helping me with my primary research and my dissertation, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, also, uh, recently I've used the iPad more and more for revision, and it's helped me be a lot more active in my revision, which really helps, because especially I find passive revision quite boring, and it's, it's not, nothing really sticks, uh, but with the iPad I can use uh, my revision uh, to make it as active as possible, so there's Apps, I downloaded an app a few days ago called Revision Cards, which makes your own revision cards for you and enables you to test yourself on your work, which is quite a fun way of doing things. Also, fortunately, Inspiration have their own app, uh, so I can make mind maps on my revision topics, which is also immensely helpful. So there's multiple ways that the iPad has really helped me this year, and I'm very grateful for everything. Um, so that's that's about it, really. Thank you very much, Stephen. That's That's been very useful. Thank, uh, thank you for that. That's